Good morning to you. I thought instead of staring at my face every day, um, you might like to have a view. It's a bit of a murky one, unfortunately. Um, I'm down at my uh, marshes area. This is an area of natural wildlife, but um, all looks a bit still this morning. And I suppose the stillness, in a way, kind of introduces the, uh, the thought that I want to share with you this morning. I was thinking about the word respite. What does it mean to have respite? Um, well, if you look it up in the dictionary, it just says that uh, it's a temporary ceasefire of a kind. It's a temporary stop to um, possibly uh, a war or a situation that's going on. And um, I thought about that in terms of what's going on in the world and, you know, the, the whole thing with the vaccine mandates and... Uh, Yes, it looks as though to some extent there's going to be a respite. We certainly have it here in the UK. Um, the mandates have gone. They seem to have changed their mind. They seem to have relaxed. Um, I actually read an article this morning uh, where it actually used the term vaxxed and relaxed. We're now vaxxed and relaxed. And um, I think that the enemy possibly... The enemy of our souls now um, wants us just to rest back now and say, well, everything's fine, nothing's going to change anymore. We can all settle down and go back to normal. Well, I thought about that and I thought of it in terms of, uh, of the events of Scripture. And I thought of the Old Testament where um, the Lord sent the plagues on Israel. And there was a time during the plagues, I think it was the plague of frogs, where... Um, they had to do a big clearing up job and there was a respite the scripture says in exodus 8 that um, and during that respite it said this it said pharaoh hardened his heart so there was a hardening of his heart during a time that he thought there was peace and i thought about the converse situation you know where we of course have been um, wanting to as it were, be like, be like the Israelites, let my people go, let my people be free, has been the call, hasn't it? The protests have gone out across the world. And um, to some extent, the people, the powers of P have listened. And they've given that respite. But my word this morning to you is, beware. They've got something else up their sleeve. That's the way the devil works. He gives us a little bit of rest, and then he's back on it again when we don't expect it. And then he catches us out. But God has a plan. And um, I suppose that's my plan of encouragement this morning as well. And I've written some statements down I just want to share with you. <clears throat> it's this one. God waits until evil has given full birth. And then he shows his power. God waits until evil has given full birth. And then he shows his power. And um, that's really what happened, isn't it? The, the plagues of Egypt, there wasn't just one plague or two or three, it was ten. Ten plagues fell upon Pharaoh before he finally relented. And it also says an interesting thing in, in, in Exodus verse, chapter 7. It says um, that God hardened Pharaoh's heart. God himself was the hardener of Pharaoh's heart because God is ultimately in control of how much evil he allows. But he's also in control of how much respite he allows. So don't be lulled into a false sense of security this morning in thinking, well, it's all over. We can just get back to normal and things will just be fine. So I just want to share that with you. Be careful who the enemy says is your enemy. I'll be seeing that at the moment also with, with Ukraine. We're being told, aren't we, that uh, Vladimir Putin is the enemy and we're to treat him as such. But who's telling us that? The enemy is telling us about the enemy. We need to hear what God's got to say, don't we? And that is my exhortation to you this morning. God will harden the hearts of our enemies, but he'll do it for a time. And at the same time also we'll get a respite. But remember Satan's strategies. He's gearing up, gearing up for a lot more. And um, we know the plans of the World Economic Forum. That isn't the only enemy, of course. That's just one of them. 
So today I say to you, praise him for the fact that uh, the mandates are going, yes, that's a great thing. But at the same time, remember the trail of destruction that's been done with these things in the first place. And um, the devil doesn't give up. He doesn't give up until he's thoroughly beaten. So let's just trust in the Lord, lean not to our own understanding, and um, walk in the Spirit daily. Have a blessed day.